Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a smaller one. Um, we're just going to be talking about Black Lives Matter in the NBA. Now, if you're not caught up to date, pretty much what was happening up to this point was that they have these Black Lives Matter texts written on the basketball court. Uh, so you'd see it constantly while they play. Plus, players would wear uh, Black Lives Matter shirts when they warmed up. And there would just be sort of a view of Black Lives Matter. And of course we live, I mean, I don't live in America. I'm actually Canadian, but the NBA is mostly viewed in racist America who don't agree with Black Lives Matter. So, I mean, in that point, it's sort of dumb, but let me tell you what the NBA did. The NBA announced that because of viewership, pretty much, viewership's been way down, uh, they decided to remove Black Lives Matter from the course. And just so you understand how down it is, Game 1 got 7.41 million viewers, and I'm pretty sure all these numbers are in the US. Uh, game 2 got 6.6, .6, Game 3 got 5.94, and Game 4 got 7.54. Alright. Now, going back to the NBA Finals last year, right, which again, didn't have LeBron, only had the aging Warriors and Kawhi Leonard, had 15.14 million viewers in the United States, which is really insane to think about because that's 15 million people in the United States, plus everyone in Canada, because of course the Raptors were in the Finals, right? There must be millions of people that watch from Canada. They must have made a lot of money off that. But it's incredible to think that it fell by literally le like more than half just because of a Black Lives Matter thing. Which, to be fair, this playoffs has literally been one of the better playoffs in a couple of years. One been one of the more interesting. I mean, we've had a bunch of upsets. We've had the Nuggets come back twice down three to one we've had just a bunch of stuff happen that's really entertaining and i don't understand why the viewership would be low besides if people considered or if people were racist right uh let's talk about black lives matter just for a quick second um the fact that people decided not to watch the nba solely because there's black lives matter written on the court and the NBA supports Black Lives Matter is absolutely stupid. Alright? Not only are you getting affected by, like, I don't understand how you could do that as a human being. Alright? Sure, there are some parts that I do understand that maybe if you're Republican, right? You might not agree with all the values of Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter is a fairly democratic, um, what is it, nonprofit, I'm pretty sure. Right? So I understand from that sense at least a little bit, but I don't understand how people generally could be like all lives matter in a response to Black Lives Matter. Right? Because, and I'm getting off a tangent here. But all lives matter, it's dumb because when we say black lives matter, all that fucking means is black lives matter because there's a bunch of horrible shit happening to them. It doesn't mean Mexican lives don't matter. It doesn't mean Arab lives don't matter. It doesn't mean there's so many other lives. I'm not going to go into it, but it doesn't push down the other ones. It's just saying black lives matter. And there are some injustices that need to be fixed. I don't understand why people can't support that. I don't understand why you have to respond with all lives matter. Because, again, yeah, all lives do matter. But that doesn't mean black lives don't matter. Right? You don't need to push down the voice of black people by saying... All lives matter. Anyways, I don't understand how people could get so annoyed with it. 
my personal belief on the NBA, I understand. I'm not going to be that unsupportive of them removing it. I understand for viewership purposes, they need to get their viewers numbers back up. I understand that. Um, because it's not great for the NBA to have such low viewership numbers. Not even just in terms of viewership, but imagine what would happen if... I mean, that's pretty much half of the half of it, right? So let's imagine half the people that were playing basketball right now just instantly dropped it and didn't consider it for a future for the NBA. And that means half of the talented people who actually got into the NBA wouldn't be able to get into the NBA, which means the talent level would just be worse. So, of course, this has future implications, which, again, good on the NBA for removing it. I still don't like the idea of removing it because people don't support it. But you have to do what you have to do in some cases. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, if you have uh, anything you want to add to this, go ahead and comment it. I'll, I'll post my beliefs in the comments responding to anyone's. Um, effectively, I'm saying come at me. But, yeah. Have a good day.